looks fresh. Looks like they didn't make it to the block. Oh God, those are human teeth. Jailer, please. Shut it. Please come here. How strong are these bars? I, I wonder if I can pry it loose. Hello? I excuse me? What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking. Jailer! Jailer, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Tell me! Please! I'll do anything. Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us. Straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the Father. Whatever gods you believe in. I'm sorry, I, I meant no offence. We have to keep our heads held high, even when everything else is taken from us. Ha! I have a son, a little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin, his tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do, nothing. Just to hold him again. Dignity is worthless compared to that. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. Doesn't matter what we've done. All that matters now is what we do next. Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. What? Nothing to say? Block will do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. What are you doing here, Morgren? Come to rub your triumph in my face. Far from it, Lady Mira. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said, and I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely betray me the first chance he gets, and I realized I'd overlooked something of great value. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Have you lost your mind? Not at all. This makes a lot of sense for both of us. I want Ironrath, and you're going to give it to me. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros. My family would never allow it. If you go anywhere near Forester Lands, my brothers will kill you. That might be difficult for them. Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> he marches on your house in full force with ten times your numbers. I'm sorry, Mira. 
None of your family will survive the battle. You don't know that! Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. I see you're already learning when to be silent. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? You will never have Ironrath, and you will never have me. What? You fool. I'd rather die. Fine. Have it your way. She won't get far. Not out here. Let me go! Sylvie! Why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I'm sorry, Sylvie. I need you to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but that's when they found me. The nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. It's our way, Garrod. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. You're the only one who can. I will. You can trust me. I'll do the right thing. Thank you, Garrod. He's in so much pain. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. I promised Sylvie I'd give it to him. To end his suffering. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him, and taint his blood. <coughs> Garrett. Garrett, is that you? It's 
me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? She can't see you right now. But don't worry. She's fine. I thought, I thought they took her away. been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. You said you'd help him. I wish I could. But I'm afraid it's too late for that now. But you can still use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I'm honored. Thank you. It's well deserved. Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. And his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. Why me? Can't you do it yourself? Not alone. I'm far too weak. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. Please. I can't take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. Let us use his blood to give us strength. I'll do it. For the North Grove. I knew I could count on you, Garrett. Use the dagger to open his chest. We need his heart. <laughs> Blood still pulses through it. Uh, now bring it here. Squeeze the blood into the fire. While it's still warm. Don't Thank you, Garrett. I know it was difficult, but you did the right thing. Now we must burn the body. Oh, 
too many fucking guards. Keep your heads down. We'll have to find a way to distract them. That must be Lord's tent. Of course, he'd take the biggest one for himself. More guards. Places crawling with them. Horses hate being tethered during a battle. If we can just get them loose. That tower gives a great view over their camp. Enough thinking. Where do you want us? Cut the horses free. Send them galloping through the camp. Horses? That's what you want? That's what we need. A distraction. Fine. But if any White Hills get in our way, might have to cut them loose too. Meet here once you've done your part. Good luck, Basilisk. Try not to get yourself dead, Westerosi. Can we rely on them? You can trust them to fight. Beyond that... Come on, let's get this done. Secure the forester boy. Make sure the little shit can't escape. He can't run if he doesn't have legs. Do what you must. And if anything happens to me, kill him. Yes, father. Bring me my great sword. Fuck. What do we do? I want to make him bleed. This might be our only chance. We will kill Lord, and the White Hill army will fall apart. Quick then, before he gets away. Don't get too close. When he's distracted, we strike. Now, let's take them. Roderick the Ruined. You've just won this war for me coming here like this. Oh, more White Hills. <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. Which is fine by me. Makes my life that much easier. You forced me to do this, Lud. We were both forced. By time and circumstance. I hope you understand that. It's over, Lord. I underestimated you, Cripple. But it won't do you any good. My soldiers 
are already tearing down your gates. the basilisk we were separated during the fight right before i took lud's head he's dead good i thought beska would be here beska will have to take care of herself to iron Rath. Here, Don Grim, my lord. The White Hills have broken through, and the rest of their forces are closing in. We need reinforcements at the gate. Have you seen Sally. Mother? Why are you? Have you seen Mother? No one knows where, where she died now. <laughs> my lord, your command. Gate. You heard your lord! Retake the gate! Now this is the war, Ash.
We're still in battle. About to whoop that ass. Yeah. Oh, god dang. Oh no, I'm up. Jesus. Help me! I need help! Oh god. No, not today. Not today. Let go of my son! Oh no. for today <laughs> I got a feeling I'm gonna die she's dead mom's dead oh wow now she's gonna die though oh what I say told you oh my god and fight. Tell me that's it. God damn it, man. I don't know what I could have done. There was... I fought to the end. I killed the chief dude. I killed Lud most of all. Uh, I mean, at least that that's what I'm proud of. I killed Lud. I don't know if I could have actually survived the battle. Honestly, what I'm going to do, though, after I beat this game and I finally, you know, have a conclusion to it, I'm probably 
gonna watch the ending of another person's, I don't know, video and see what they got. So I'm, I'm genuinely interested. Oh yeah, I uh, kind of did a bad. What you did was right. I did what I had to do. I hope it's fucking worth it. I'll let you light the pyre. Yep, you better give me your goddamn soldiers for, uh, because I'm taking back my house and rebuilding and beating the shit out of every single White Hill that there is in the next season. There better be a next season. I am so, I'm gonna write Telltale and tell them to get me a new season of this. Your arrival has changed everything. Mm -hmm. it sure Even has. though we've been preparing for it all our lives, now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason to protect the North Grove. Winter is coming, and we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see House Forester fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath, it may already be lost. You know protecting the North Grove is the right thing to do. Those were Gregor's last words. They sent you. You should decide. <laughs> we're gonna have to go retake the house. Forrester needs our help. So we'll gather our forces and march south. That's the only reason why the gods I did. guide us and protect us. That was the only reason why I gave blood magic from Cotter, so her warriors could be good. Because we're gonna retake back House Forester, and that is full-blown facts. No ifs, ands, or buts. In the name. In the name of what? In the name of the king. Okay. I hereby sentence you to death. <laughs> wow. I'm fucked. Like right now, you better be clenching the cheeks so you don't get ready for butt sex. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Dude, does this man ever like crack a smile? He always has that disgusting look on his face. Bring forth the next prisoner! Uh, hi, how you doing? Hi. Hi. Hey, how you doing? This young woman is accused of murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to her crimes? I will speak to them. This woman is a traitor and a murderer! Killer! She did it! to her family no! name! <laughs> Mira Forrester, in the sight of gods and men, and in the name of the king, I sentence you to die. Shade! Raven! Killer! If you have final words, Shade! speak them now. She did it! Well, that's it.
Um, well, I just got decapitated. That's the end. I don't know. It is. You are offline. What? Go online now. Talking about I'm offline bullshit. <laughs> I'm offline, my ass. Okay, loading screens, I love. Uh-huh. At the end. Oh, there's more? So alive. Uh oh. Oh my god. Patrick? What's we have much time. Tell me. Tell me I live. Who's that? That's Beska. With Ryan. How am I offline? I swear. Damn it, man. I wanted to see my choices. That sucks. I swear I'm not offline. Guaranteed. Well, so this is where the point where I get my review of the game. Now, this game was, in general, amazing. I like this game. Probably my favorite Telltale game. Um... Now, there were six episodes, the longest Telltale game I've ever played, which is good, because I like long games. Long games are legit, depending on how long it is. I mean, if it's too long, then it just kind of gets repetitive. But overall, this was a great story. Um, I'm going to give this a ranking out of 10, 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. Um, I'm going to give this game a solid 9, because usually it just... It had a great story, it had a great motive, but the only reason why I didn't give it a 10 is because it took too long to build up. Like, it built up for, like, four episodes. And then, like, the final two episodes were just, like, the whole meat and hunk of it. So, maybe if they do make a second season, which I'm begging and praying that they make a second season. It is a great game. It deserves a second season. It deserves one. And I know this game came out in 2014, and I'm a little late. I am way late to play this game, but, um, I lag Game of Thrones, the TV series. And now the game. 
And I've always been a Telltale fan. I've played all the Walking Dead. So I've played Tales of the Borderlands. That's also on my channel. I've played this one now. But yeah, it's great. And hopefully um, they do make a season two. And I, I will definitely play it if they do. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, um, leave a like or whatever. Show the support if you want. Um, it's going to be appreciated by me. And um, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode. And I will leave you here. With the rest of the copy. Oh, well, that's it. Thank you, guys. Goodbye.